Good morning, everyone. Welcome. It's that time again. Beach for breakfast. Uh, I'm going to set myself a little challenge again because I haven't got much time at the moment So for, for making music. So it's just 20 minutes seeing what I can create. And uh, let's go. Yeah, nice one. Let's see what we can make. Oh, it's a speed run. It's that time. If you don't know, if you haven't watched my channel before, I make beats the moment I wake up, and it's early here if you're not watching in the UK. Um, it's like 5 a.m., 5.30 a.m., and, um, yeah. actually yeah so I make beats really early in the morning that's why I'm yawning like crazy because literally I can barely keep my eyes open yeah it's all about that the reason I try and do that is so that I'm not plagued by like you know ego and like my thoughts getting like oh I should be doing this I should be doing that I'm just like right making kind of beats in a dream state is uh, just record it in and maybe just chop the front off with a um, with a when I make it audio in a minute there you go put a little bit extra at the end so that it'll just bounce really nice and then I can just fade in the intro so it doesn't have that boom but it's going to oscillate and move a lot anyway because I've got, you know, a unison and like the micro shifter on it. So it's going to, yeah, modulate. But And then what I'm planning to do is do another bounce. And, um, but this time just fine tune it like up maybe a couple of cents. And hopefully with the other one, it's not quite enough. That'll give me, uh, and I'm planning to pan those left and right uh, slightly, and that'll give me like a bigger sense of stereo image for this pad, which would be really nice. Yeah, so I'll get that one 12 to the left and that one 12 to the right. Yeah, there's a nice sense of stereo to that now. And then I could just gently remove that that pop at the beginning. A little fade and we'd be good to go with that pad. Maybe a tiny bit more fade. struggling to keep my eyes open today I tell ya that's good though that shows it really is beats for breakfast I like that this is kind of just like a an epic kind of single tone because I can build more things on top of that now with the extra pads and stuff so I'm just going to develop this intro a little bit more 
Let's see what else we got. And you'll notice I just pick sounds completely at random because I'm not after a, a certain sound at the minute. I'm just after finding a kind of a, a feeling. So I've weirdly somehow started the tune in F sharp minor. So that's going to be my key. Uh, F sharp, G sharp, uh, A, B. Whole half, whole, whole half. So C sharp as well. Nice one. Oh. I've got to be a bit quicker and stop getting lost in like little details if I want to make it. Oh. Too much. telling me not to use that for some reason. Fair enough. There's a bit of piano in there. Fair enough. Mm, maybe not an omnisphere for a minute. Let's go alchemy. Let's get a different flavour in there. Lovely. Oh, it's got an Eno vibe right there. Music for airports. lovely that just gives it all this all sorts of mystery the mystery the mystery man uh let's roughly quantize those see where they landed yeah that looks good that looks fine that looks fine uh maybe i don't want it as well i think i just want quantize of these ones Pretty in time, but I sometimes like it when the start of the chord isn't quite all aligned nicely. It just gives that more human feel, you know. So that'll be that part there done. Maybe I'll bring in a new idea, like I'll duplicate that, and I'll use some of the the variations to get B minor. What's B? B minor. What was I playing? Uh, B, C sharp. Oh yeah, there you go. Whatever chord that is. <laughs> A no chord.
and I'm going to move to this kind of like more um, rattly, clangy version of it to give it some progression when we move over here. That's, um, by the way, that retrospective record is a right treat. If you don't use that, you should. Um, it's, it's shift R, I think, after you've recorded. And uh, yeah, so that you don't lose the, all the things you recorded in MIDI. But what's really nice about it is you don't get the stress of like, oh, I've got to do the recording well now, this take. You just play about, and if it's good, you can grab it which is great, I love that. So retrospective record, yeah, so if I play like over here, and then press shift R, all those notes are still there, they're saved in Logic, which is lovely. And if you look in your DAW, whatever DAW you use, I'm sure they'll have a retrospective record feature in there as well, which is really nice, so yeah, cool. I should maybe put these in the bar. Because this is where people are going to start queuing up tunes. So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's going to be enough, and then I won't do one on the last one. Maybe just maybe just the high note, so that everybody's like waiting at that point. That'd be quite nice. Okay, let's see what FM has got for us. Oh, that chord, that's nice. kind of the sustain on this sound I just want it to be a bit more like detuned so I'm going to use that uh, this frequency shifter Yeah, that's got that kind of nice. Like that kind of just little bit of movement. Oh, 
I didn't capture that really nice one, but it's a D and F sharp. It's decay is so long. I'm just gonna bring its release down a little bit. There's something really beautiful about that kind of kind of noise. I let this one play out first because it's lovely. That really beautiful sound, and then this one. And that can that sort of release under all the other stuff. Maybe you'll try an octave lower. Yeah, that'd be nice. Cool. Here we go. So let me bounce that because otherwise, when I'm playing, I won't hear the feedback tails as much. Okay, and that stops there naturally. That's nice. Right. Let's check out the time. What have we got left? Three minutes to make a beat and a bass line. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's because I spent too much time on these. Yeah, classic. Right, breaks. Let's go. Let's get a beat in. No messing. Let's just get ones that I know. No work. Classic breaks chopped. Comics think breaks. Yeah, let's try you. Beautiful. to that might be nice so let's see what tempo these are at and get them in 170 no problem cool let's do a slicing just get you roughly in time you can come here get you roughly in time and then we'll do one two three and then the edit. Uh, that edit is much quieter than everything else. Yeah, that edit kind of feels a bit jarring the way it comes in, but we'll work it out. Uh, I'm just going to try and see if I can give this a bit of quantize and shuffle. See what see what happens to it. Ah, I've got to move quicker. Quantize 116 with B swing. The last snare feels like it hits late every time. Oh, I see why. Okay, you stay where you're at. You stay where you're at. But you, it's like a clap and uh, and a snare. So I'm gonna make that a little bit early, see if that helps the group. Yeah, I like it being earlier than I do late. That's that snare. 
So just repeat this one. Yeah, that feels like it just rolls a little a little better now, which is nice. Cool. And I don't know if this is in tune. Uh, I've run out of time, but I'm just going to quickly finish the idea because, you know. It seems to be in like B and E, which are part of the key, but it's only a semitone away from being where it should be. So, maybe I'll just crudely pitch this, just for now, and layer it up later with some proper hits. Let's change the sound so dramatically though. that does kind of feel much better to me somehow um well i suppose i'm making it my own <laughs> this little double snare is um is not quite sitting well with me with this little clap and stuff so i'm just gonna take this down in volume a tiny bit Yeah, a bit happier with that now. And that's too early for that. That would need to be like an eight bar thing. There we go, nice. I like that this break is called Write a Book. <laughs> That's so cool. Right, okay, and this rolled out. This happens halfway through the bar. Write the baseline and we're done.
tell you what I was thinking when I was making it I wanted the sub with the harmonics a little bit of FM we don't hear the FM signal the FM's a bit higher in pitch but we don't hear it it just impacts that and then I just wanted like a, a kind of a emu emulation so I'm sort of moving the filter that the the distorts um the the I'm moving the filter that happens before the distortion and then just mixing about 60% of that in roughly. And it just kind of gives me a, a dirty sub bass that growls, but not so much that it's like, you know, obvious and that. And I might just do a tiny bit of um, this one, OTT. Just to try and bring out some of that top. Uh, but then just like 50% depth or whatever. 30%, you know. But that OTT, that really makes a difference for me. Maybe that was too much. I don't really like this bass. I think it just needs one of those. Yeah, 
I'm not really feeling what I've made here, but that's life. Sometimes it's got to be that way. Uh, let me see if I can augment that with something else that's nice. So keep a copy of that. And let me see if that idea could be better served by a different bass sound. Let me go preset port and see what's here. Ooh. Apart from the pattern, it's too, it's not quiet. are a bit too stereo. I just want something that rips a little bit in that mid-range. kind of got the one I was looking for. It's not right, but at least it's got something. Yeah, that's nice. And I could just compress that a little bit so it doesn't peak out too much. It's not perfect, but at least I've got a nice little idea to work on later, so that's cool. Yeah, lovely. And I just need one more little response base to that. I've got to be quick because I was supposed to end ages ago. But this is the thing, if you've only got a little bit of time, you're like, oh, well, I've got an idea, Roland, I might as well. I'm 
a big shout out to Brain and uh, Preset Portal for the the call cool, uh, presets. You know. And let's just kill some of that uh, sort of really big stereo stuff. I didn't know what to play there, so and a little bit less of this. Yeah, I'm not feeling this idea really, to be honest. But at least, like I always say, you just got to write an idea to to maybe even know what what you don't want, so that when you do sit down again, you're like, okay, I know I don't want that, but it's a clear indication of where you do want to go eventually, hopefully. So, yeah, that's it for the idea for today. It went on a bit longer <laughs> as the, than I intended, but that's what we've got. So yeah, nice one. If you uh, watched this far, thank you so much for watching and I hope it gave you some sort of insight into kind of how I work and yeah, trying to make beats with no judgment really and just like letting the beats roll out as they are and I might work on this idea, I might not later, who knows, you know, but it doesn't really matter too much. All I'm trying to do is like keep going each day, you know, and make a new idea and just see which ones come out and, you know, leave the judgment part of making music till later and just have a bit more fun with the early part. So, you know, cool. All right, well, have a good one. If you could uh, like, share and subscribe and follow and comment and get in on the chats and that, I'd be really grateful. And uh, big ups to everyone. All right, I'll see you later. Nice one. Beats for breakfast. <laughs>